Hi guys, Matty here again. We're gonna actually do one more video about the HyperX Quadcast audio setting. You guys liked the first one and I thought, why don't do a second one? This is more my personal touch, what I can like, and I feel, why don't share it with you guys? Maybe you like it also. But before we go to the video, if you like the video, thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if it helped you or did not help you. If you hate the HyperX Quadcast or you freaking love it or something like that. Let me know because I want to know. And subscribe to the channel if it's really helped you or want to support the channel even more. So thank you for that. Let's go to the video. And one more thing. I stream actually on Twitch also, the link is down below, so join me over there and you're all are welcome. So go to settings on the right side, you're gonna have a pop-up window, you want to go to output. When you're in here, you want to change output mode here to advanced. When you have done this, you go to audio. When you're in here, you have six tracks. I don't remember what the original was. It doesn't really matter though. You want to change this to 320 on everyone. It's the best bitrate and I don't know, I read something about it and everyone kind of recommended it. So, and it's a bit different between the bitrates, between extreme low, extreme high, but in general, I don't really hear a difference. But why don't have the best, right? The other thing we want to go is under output is audio. So go to audio. You want to go to general tab up here and change simple rate. Standard, it's 4 to 4 kilohertz. And you want to change that to 48 kilohertz. And also stereo. The only thing here is there is desktop audio, my Discord audio, and the HyperX Quadcast microphone. You want to maybe change something like that, especially the microphone. The rest in here, you don't want to touch that. You don't need it. When you're done with that, you can apply it. So you want to find your audio mixer. It's here. When I'm speaking right now, you see it's moving. There's your microphone. On the right side of it, you have a cogwheel. Right click on it and go up to filters. When filter is popping up, you want to go to the plus icon on the left side. Press that. So the first thing you want to do, it's we can go with the gain. So press on gain. This is gonna pop up. What this do is the, uh, the voice, the, the, au the audio, is going to be gained. So you can bump this up to hell, to people's blow the brains out. But we don't going to do that. I, in this my, my other video, I had plus nine. In this video, we're going to have it plus five. And you can try it out yourself. What you find is like the best. We do some recordings and stuff like that. I can recommend that. So change this to five decibels of course when you've done that you want to go down to plus icon again noise suppression where we have a noise suppression there so click on noise suppression this is gonna pop up we have actually changed this we have specs lower CPU usage and RN noise higher quality before in my other video I have the low CPU in this video, we're going to have it RN noise, high quality. So change it to high quality. That's actually different. So I can also say that this, try the both out and see what you think is the best for you. But for me, I feel like high quality is a better one. When you've done that, you want to go to plus icon again. And we want to have a compressor. So press on the compressor. This is going to pop up. So, the first thing is ratio, ratico, ratico, I cannot say that word, it's hard, <laughs> so sorry for that. But the first thing, 
the first thing here, you want to change this to 3. The other thing is threshold. You want to take this to minus 25 decibels. The third thing is attack. You want this on 1 ms. The fourth thing is release. You want this on 50 ms. And the last thing, output gain is zero. Because on my other video, I have this gain here instead. I don't know if it do any difference or what I do, but I have it. So I don't think it's do anything really. So try it out if you see a, hear a difference. I don't do that. So take it on zero. When you've done that, you want the last thing. And we're going to talk about it. It's a noise gate. So click on noise gate. This is going to pop up. And I'm kind of split here. Actually, I'm kind of split here. Because I have my close threshold on minus 35 decibels. An open threshold, minus 30. Attack time, 25 ms. Hold time, 200 ms. Release time, 150 ms. I don't think I've changed this, actually. But we're going to talk about it. What, what do they do? What the noise gate do, it's opening and closing. So it's like opening a, a jar and closing it again. Kinda. Maybe a bad example though. But what it do is, it need certain decibel to open the microphone. So like I do right now, if it's low enough, the microphone doesn't gonna pick it up. Of course, we can tweak this back and forward how you want it because everyone has a different room and example my room is kind of go echoes because I don't have so much paintings and stuff like that so it's gonna echo though that's the negative part with it but if you have like loud sisters brothers a dog maybe parents cars like you want to tweak this to your liking and of course, it depends on what you want the microphone. You want it close, like we do now, or maybe far away. So in this setting, it's more because I never even use it, actually, if we're going to be honest. Sometimes I'm using it because when it's kind of louder in here, but often I don't use it. And that's because I feel that when I do my recordings, it's quite a, it's just me and my girlfriend living here. So we have kind of quiet apartment and that's kind of nice. So I don't really need it, I feel like. And of course, why I don't need it is one thing more. I kind of like my microphone away from me. I don't, I want to see the keyboard. I don't want to have it in the way and so on, but it's personal. It's, it's hard to say exactly what is the best thing because the, the volume of stuff around you is it's like depends on where you live, mainly. So tweak it around. So one thing you can do to be really safe is maybe take my other video, I'll link it here again, and watch that, see what you can like. Compare those. So. That's what I'm kind of say about it. But change it to minus 35, close threshold, open threshold, minus 30. And see what the difference are. Maybe it's really work with you so you can have the noise gate. But my personal view on it, I don't really use it. Only sometimes. So that was my new setting. Maybe not new, I changed some stuff in there. And if you guys want to try it, here you go. Uh, one thing I want, maybe if you are curious about some stuff of the HyperX, I'm going to explain because I have actually some people asking this. On the HyperX, we have a knob down here, like here, down here. You can, it's a gain, okay? I have my gain on first dot 
course, depends on your environment and what you like, but I'm personal, have it one dot. The second thing is I have on the back side, you guys are not gonna see this, you have also a knob with four settings. I have mine like a circle with a dent in it. So it's like a heart, it looks like kind of heart, a round heart. This, that one is because why I use that is first the best thing and only the front of the microphone when I'm speaking is going to pick up the sound. On the back here it's not going to pick up sound. So if I do the keyboard and some stuff like that, the microphone is going to pick it up. So that is my, the best thing ever to change on the microphone if you want to change something. The rest is, you don't really need it, uh, really. The problem with the microphone in general is maybe it's picking up some sounds and sometimes it can be some weird with the sound, but for the price it's really good. And it's cool also, it's red. Thank you for the support guys, appreciate it on my first video there on the setting, really thankful. And I hope it helps. If this video didn't help you, watch the other one because that helps some people actually. So that's great. So let's see on you guys. I cannot speak at all. So let's see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to do that. Thank you. Bye.